back yay <laughs> sorry for the video last week we didn't manage to get any done any stuff done in san jose or filming done in san jose but we got a really cool new toy yeah if you haven't seen in the story you all know what i'm talking about uh, it's finally time to level up and get some woodworking done yeah after all this metal and concrete now we're going into the woodwork because we have all the wood ready but we had no tool almost to process it, so now it's time for us to at least do some woodwork and make a deck. Make a deck. Finally finishing <laughs> the deck, which has been like months. <laughs> months and months. Like this. <laughs> so it's time to do it. Yay! But what tool do we get? That's the big question. Let's have a look. So the plan at the moment is to clean up all of this metal by wiping it down, cleaning the welding and then painting it so that it's ready for when you start putting the wood on. So that's my mission for today. I think it's going to take quite some time. <laughs> okay. Oh, and we also put this up so that we can protect ourselves from the sun. So and if the you rain. And the rain. So um, that's going to be a permanent feature for a while. And Rusty just wants to play frisbee. <laughs> Um, okay, so the plan for the day is to start cutting some wood with our new machine. Yay! You ready? Yeah. Let's try this. <laughs> Let's learn. Let's learn how to cut wood. Kind of nervous. Yeah, yeah. So was, but we'll figure it out like everything else. Exactly. I mean, that's how we build a house. <laughs> Coming from JB's factory. <laughs> Looks like you're riding a plodge. <laughs> Impressed? That's cool. I love your hair. Oh, my whole <laughs> outside physical body is a disaster, I know. <laughs> sorry. That's why I'm not in front of the camera because I'm not presentable. Okay, so we've done a few planches, planks, whatever you want to call it in English, French, Spanish. Um, it's hard. Oh, teak is hard. Teak is hard. It's definitely not as easy as ah. you thought it would be. Rusty agrees. And we have about ah. another 30 more to go. Action! Action. Okay, so <laughs> Russ is excited. We are going to take you on a little mission with us because some some of the things some of the things we don't really show everything. We need to go and get some rocks from the river. So we've got the three drop buckets. The river is five minutes away, and it'll be a good opportunity for Rusty also to have a bit of a run around. The rain is coming. You can see here darkness 
lots of darkness and at the moment the river is empty so it's a really good time to get some rocks and we're gonna go get that and then we're gonna probably put them on the side of the wall put them in the garden bed this is also a nice way to avoid like too much mud Rest, yep. Yep. Up, up. Yeah. So while we were in San Jose, I picked up a bunch of seeds. So it's now time for planting and I want to plant a few veggies so that we can hopefully harvest those in the next few months. Especially basil, mm. some fresh basil and fresh spinach would be amazing. I think the rain is coming so it'll be perfect time to water these guys because we actually are running out of water we really really need the rain to come down so glad i managed to get that done we've got spinach coriander roman lettuce eggplant rosemary, basil, leek, baby zucchini, and green patty pan squash. So what I've done is I've done the first batch. I've kept quite a few seeds for maybe doing like another round a little bit later. Also just to see like if this is gonna work or not because I'm pretty new to planting in the tropics. So I'm not exactly sure how to do it. So a lot of it is a bit of experimental, but I have to show you something. Have a look at these guys. These are papaya. <laughs> so they're doing really well. We've actually planted a bunch of papaya all over the property and they're all starting to come up. Um, I think they're a little bit too close together. So I'm gonna eventually, when they get bigger, I'm gonna have to separate them. But yeah, we've got that. And then we've also got some orange melon and some butternut already growing. The watermelon that I did plant, the lizard ate. So <laughs> we're gonna have to do that again. Um, I'm going to have to, instead of planting the seeds, I'm going to have to properly grow them and then replant them somewhere where the lizard's not going to be able to get to. So yeah, and then I also need to still put some mint in and I want to put some um, peppers because some of our peppers died while we were in San Jose. So I'm going to do that next. And then hopefully the rain will do its job the next few days. Also I have to be careful that they don't drown. Um, I'm not sure what the rain's going to be like, but we'll see and then eventually we also really want to do a greenhouse but that is honestly like number 360 on our list of things to get done so I'm just gonna have to do a bit of a makeshift this season and then maybe next season we can try and get the greenhouse um, so what I've done is this is sweet pepper with some seeds I'm just going to plant some of these in here and then I've also got a like a more of a hot chili pepper which I'm going to do the other half in and then this section we've got like a tree, I'm not exactly sure the name of the tree, but we were given some seeds to plant and we've got one little one coming through, but yeah, I need to, I need to do the rest. And then here is like a group of avocados and some papaya and I'm going to go and plant the papaya in the hole that Rusty has dug for us. The soil is quite hard.
nice and early. Like we, it is now seven o'clock. We started at six and yeah, we have an extra two pair of hands today, which I'm so happy about. Um, obviously since JB's injury, it's been more difficult to get a lot of stuff done, which is fine. Like he needs to recover, but I'm also working. So there's a lot of, um, we're struggling to get a lot of stuff done. So, so the plan for him is to build us this wall that we're going to be using as a, around the area. I'm sure a lot of you've been wondering how we're going to deal with that. So yeah, there's going to be a wall over there and we are going to focus on finishing our teak floor. Um, all depends on whether the rain comes or not. We've covered it because the rain was here yesterday and Rusty, <laughs> Rusty gets really dirty and then he messes the floor up. So we're going to finish cutting. We've got about 15 more pieces to go to make them nice and straight. And then we're going to make the puzzle and then figure out where they're going to be placed. So it's going to be a very busy day. And yeah, we've got three, four, five, six hours to get a ton of work done. Also, I'm not sure if you can see in the background, Rassie's school friend is visiting. Good morning, Fluff. Hey, bud. Where's Dad? Where's Dad? Go find Dad. So, of course, oh my goodness, my hair. <laughs> Ignore the hair. <laughs> of course, we make our lives so much easier. Oh, yeah. We love making our lives easier. Yeah, it's so easier to make your life easier. <laughs> so, we're gonna go 15, 13, 13, 11, 15, 13. So, we're gonna have to stagger them and then we're gonna have to cut them. So, now it's time to do the puzzle, which is gonna be interesting. Hey, my love. So much fun. So much fun. There is one piece, this one piece to be. No idea it would take us so much time and effort making a puzzle. But I think we're only going to get halfway this week, hopefully. Tomorrow we're going to do like the spraying and varnishing and it's very exhausting. How are you doing there, my love? Good. Yesterday was a bit of a nonsense day. Well, it was actually my birthday, but um, we were working anyway and I fell through the floor and I hurt my leg. So I kind of just took the day off yesterday. I think we were just both so exhausted that maybe it's just like the universe saying like, time to chill. So I lay in bed and watched series and we made pizza last night. So it was a beautiful day in the end. But we need to get this floor done. So I think I'm going to do some spraying. I've just moved, so excuse the sweatiness. I've just moved all of these pieces of wood back from the container down there. Rusty's busy digging a hole, so that's his noise for digging a hole, but anyway. Um, from the container to here, and I've just made like a little makeshift spot to do all of the um, fumigation or the poison and then after that I'm going to varnish everything so that when we start tomorrow 
Monday we can at least get these this half of the deck mounted and we can walk on it okay so now it's time to get ready fully clothed so that there's no skin that is possibly absorb this horrible poison so ready one two three and, and I think I'm gonna be okay. Okay, first thing I need to do is put, it says 20 mils for four liters. So I need to put 10 mils for two liters. This is a two liter jug. Mm -hmm. 